uh, you and Jamie Foxx are real close. Yeah. How did that relationship form? How did it, how did it come together? Yeah. You know, back in the day, we just used to, you know, we used to be promiscuous, but in a safe way. Okay. And then it just kind of like, I'm talking about years ago, living color days or whatever. And uh, it just kept growing from there. You know, and then one day we was, uh, we was chilling or whatever, he was working on the stand-up or whatever, and um, we just started chopping it up, and then I just started helping him write a stand-up. And so at that point, that's when our, our writing relationship started. Like, so we write and produce, and we do a lot of stuff together. Okay. So you actually wrote some of the stand-up? Yes. Dope. Now, this, this was before the Oscar and everything? Yes, before, yeah. Okay. When he did Ray, did you know that it was going to be as big as it was? No, nah, nobody knew it was. We, it was a... It's, I think it was supposed to be... Ray Charles, a pretty big yeah, musical but we, figure. No, nobody knew. We thought, I, th I think it was for, made for TV at first. Oh, really? Yeah, it wasn't supposed to go theatrically. Really? It was, Ray originally was a TV movie. Yeah. It was uh, like more made for TV. It was independent. Okay. And then it just, I think, I think um, the film just was really, really good and they kind of switched up and I think Ray Charles ended up dying so it was a bigger story. Oh, so they were filming it while Ray Charles was still alive? Yeah. Oh. Ray Charles wasn't dead at the point. Aha. Uh -huh. Right, because I remember when I saw it, it was like, oh, yeah, this is, this is the best right. music biopic since What's Love Got to Do With It. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Before, you know, you want to help Ike. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Um, I mean, Jamie killed the role. Yeah, he destroyed it. What, what, what started to change... You know, since you're around Jamie all the time, once he had that Oscar, what started to change? Um, Jamie is 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 a he he don't he don't necessarily try to he don't really change like that. Like I think he's I think he's more he's like has always just been humble. Like I don't I think he handles pressure great. I think by him being a stand-up comedian, like he just he's used to pressure, used to attention, used to stuff. So he, I, I felt like that helped him kind of handle like, you know, stardom, fame, Oscars. And like, I've never really even seen his Oscar like that. I probably held it like once or twice. He probably only held it like once or twice. Really? Mm-hmm. I mean, but that's the highest honor you can get yeah. as an actor. Yeah. Especially as a starring role and everything else like that. Yeah. Yeah. So after you did Menace, and you did Belly. You had a few roles here and there, mm -hmm. but it wasn't really coming the same way. Right. Well, why do you think that was? Well, I felt like I felt like I've always had a, a a a young look. I felt like I never aged. So, and I think like some of the other guys that were in my in my bracket, like Omar Epps and Morris Chestnut and all those guys, I felt like they all they had a manly look about themselves, and I felt like I always looked more boyish. So when you have movies like The Program and stuff like that, that Omar was playing Holly Berry, like I just didn't feel like I looked like Holly Berry. I could be her husband or boyfriend. I always had like a boyish look. Okay. So that put me in a. It's like okay, you have this this guy that did this great performance, but he's he's he looks like a kid. You know what I mean? So I think with Menace, it was the movie was so powerful, but it was coming out of a kid. You know what I mean? Instead, opposed to a, a, a man like Tupac looked like a man when he did Juice. They looked like little men, Juice and Omar. They look a little older. Okay. So I mean, you, you talked about how you were doing independent films where it'd be like brown paper bag money. Mm-hmm. Where they would just give you a here go twenty racks. Here go. 15, he go, th yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting that. Okay, but that's just coming every so often. Yeah, yeah. You talked about at one point how you felt like you didn't need to audition and you didn't, you know, go and, and do certain things that you may have, you know, should have done at the time. Right. Do you feel that's fair? I, I felt like I just didn't understand that process because I felt like coming from, 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 from the neighborhood that I came from, you, you know, when you go to Hollywood and they tell you, oh, after this movie you're gonna be a star, you just believe it. I like I I didn't have nobody in my family that was an actor before me, so I can only go on what I'm hearing. Hey, after you do minutes, you're gonna be the star, and if it blow up, you're gonna you don't never have to audition again. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do that. So I just literally believe what I heard. Mm. 
You know what I mean? So you didn't have the right kind of agents and No, I didn't have the right kind of, uh, yeah, I didn't have the right kind of stability. Like, I, I feel like I had agents and everything, but at, you got to understand, if, if you're young you just, and you just did minutes and the whole world loving you and, and no one has prepared you for it, why would you want to, would you want to audition? You'd be like, wait a minute, the whole world loves me. Like, what am I, y'all, can't y'all see it? Can't y'all see the numbers? Can't y'all see this shit? What the hell am I coming in for? Right. So, like, did you audition for Belly? No. No. They were like, okay. Yeah, we want Kane to, yeah. to play Rico, and that's pretty much it. Yep. Yeah. I feel you, man. So, you and Jamie were working on something. We did a, um, we did a, um, he, he directed me in this short film called, um, If I Was Your, uh, If I Was Your Eve. What, what was it called, T? Yeah, we forget, yeah. Uh, what's it called? Because we had like three different names. Um, think about was your Eve. Be my Eve. Something about Eve. It's something. Okay. And what happened um, with that? We, we did it. it. It came out through um, Project Imagine. It was something that he was doing with, uh, with Ron Howard's company. Um, we, we did it. It was cool. Okay. And you guys are still working together? Yeah, we're still working together. Right now, we we just um, we just finished a movie called All Star Weekend um, that I helped write with him. Yeah, I heard about. It. Yeah, I heard yeah. He's, he was working on that. Yeah, All Star Weekend, uh, me, Snoop, Jeremy Piven, Eva Longora, um, uh, Robert Robert Downey Jr. Like it's a lot. lot wow. Yeah. Okay, you're talking about some Oscar winners. Yeah, in a there. lot of people. I mean, in there, Robert so. Robert Downey Jr. has Oscars, doesn't he? Yeah, I think he I think he has something. That's everybody in there. Floyd Mayweather, like it's a, a lot of, lot of stars in there. Uh, what's the concept around it? Uh, a big party or? No, it's 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 about some guys that want to go to All Star Weekend, and uh, Jamie character loves LeBron, and uh, Jamie Piven character loves Steph Curry, and they just have all these kind of debates and who's the best, and we need to go to All Star Weekend, and they they take a. Um, like this half a house and they live in half a house and they take the house on the road and all kind of stuff happens. Okay. And Jamie plays like three or four characters that are hilarious. Okay. Yeah. And this is Jamie's film? Yeah. He directed it, um, wrote, produced. Starred in? Starring in. Yeah. Okay. And you have a, a I have role? A, me, yeah, I have a role. Uh, Snoop have a role. We all, you know, we all in the film. So yeah. is, this, is this your return to film? Um, it's, 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 it's one of them. It's it's a role that that will be on the big screen. 